Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart. I am joined today with Vegas Frank of the Vegas Synergy Group. Vegas Frank has just been absolutely killing it this last couple weeks, but we'll get to that in a minute. Today we're just going to talk about how to make money betting sports. It seems like such a simple concept, Frank, yet week in and week out we see these square guys keep screwing up. Well, yeah. See, now when they asked, see, Johnny asked me to come in and do these videos because I'm, I'm, you know, Chris is my partner. I'm Frank. We're part of Vegas Synergy, but I've decided that um, I, instead of just giving you picks and giving you selections, I've been in this town 55 years and I've seen all forms of gambling. I want to start um, talking to the players or talking to the customers in a different way so that they can stop doing what they've been doing and to make money doing this. So right now, I, I, I gotta tell you, if, if you are a sicko or a degenerate or you don't wanna make money this year, and right, my advice to you right now is tune off this video. Just don't even watch the rest of this something because I'm gonna start coming here every week and I'm gonna start giving you my best stuff. But if you're gonna be a sicko and, you're, and you don't care about losing, because to me, losing sucks. There's nothing better on Monday than getting an envelope than giving an envelope. So with that being said, I've decided, to, now there's a lot of ways to do this, and I'm just not going to just throw this whole thing out there and then not tell you what to do, okay? I'm going to give you guys just, because uh, last week you did some stuff with, um, with Teddy Covers on just the basics of teasers and parlays and that. That's just basic stuff. Now I'm going to show you a, little, a few of the things to make money doing this. But the first thing you have to do in this sports gambling and sports betting, it's not handicapping and it's not money's management. It's overcoming yourself. Because when there's money and sports and wins and losses involved, emotion is the biggest thing. So let's just start getting to this, okay? When, and, and, you know, Teddy had a good thing on the prior segment is trying to get even when you're stuck late Sunday. Some of the best stock brokers and the best stock people, their secret is they can all pick winners. But when you buy, let's say, Starbucks at 50 and it goes down to 43 and it's not going the way they thought, you know what they say is, take me down. It sucks. You got to suck it up sell that one on to the next one people don't do that they keep chasing it but here's the main thing in sports gambling and I, like even he said it on the segment before it's all about numbers it's it's math like if the packers are minus two and a half i love them if the packers are minus three and a half in that same game i don't want any part of that if there's enough equity in that point there's about 31 cents worth of equity there that makes the bet no good but people say, oh, what's the difference between two and a half or three and a half? That's the way a lot. So I want to teach people to stop being squares, to stop doing what you're doing so you keep getting what you're getting. We want to, you want to win. Nothing, remember that quote in the um, Jackie Gleason movie, The Color of Money? Money won is twice as sweet as money earned. So don't you want to do this and stop taking just all of our picks and throwing your money. The best thing we could possibly do here is to win. I want to see you win. I want to see you grow, become better gamblers, better betters, and stop doing what you're doing. But you need to grow. Like, why did you lose last? Why did you lose last season? What did you do? Did you, were you chasing? Were you stuck? Were you taking bad numbers? You got to improve. You got to improve what you're doing and you got to control yourself. But now I'm going to give you a few little in-depth tips on how to how to make some money at this. Parlays, you mentioned parlays. There's a lot of value in parlays, but they gotta be, see, in fixed odds parlays, the odds of hitting a three-teamer are seven to one. They pay you six to one, so there's 12 and a half percent. That's about as high as you should go on fixed. When you, once you go to four-teamers, it's 15 to one, and they're paying you 10, 11, 12 to one. It's about 25 or 30 percent. It's not good. And the higher you go, the worse it is. But on money line parlays that keep accumulating, like plus 200, plus 200, plus 200, there's no, not, no shame in that. But now let's see how to beat parlays. When you're betting a correlated parlay, which means if one thing happens, the next one is much more likely to occur, you want to get that 13 to 5, or some books are not even 14 to 5, which is plus 260. Your rule in college football to, be, to have a correlated parlay is the 3 to 1. That means, for instance, let's say Tulsa is minus 20 and the total is 55. That fits because it's, it's 3 to 1 from the spread to the ratio. Both sides have equity, the dog and under or the favored and over. But you don't want to bet both. So how do you determine? Are you going to take you know, the dog and under or are you going to take the favored and over? Well, if it's 20 and 55, shop around some books. If you see some 20 and a half or 21s, then you want to take favored and over. That'll make, you, make your choice. But it's 3 to 1 in college football. 
if the spread's 17 and the total's 49, it's there, you know, because it's not three to one. So you'll find a lot of those in college football. Here's your thing on teasers, NFL teasers. Very powerful, very powerful. That's why when I was a kid and I grew up in this town, a six-team NFL teaser was even money. And you could have a tie and a loser and you get a refund. Now, on a seven-point teaser, okay, even a six-point is 20. On a seven-point teaser, it's $1.40 because they can't make that number high enough. But the key in the NFL in teasers is unless you're going through the seven and the three, you're absolutely wasting your money. That means you can take a team at minus nine and a half and you tease them down to two and a half or, you know, eight and a half down to one and a half or vice versa. You take them from one and a half to eight and a half. That's the only way. And you can beat the heck out of, out of NFL football doing that. I mean, what you call it over at the South Point doesn't even know what to make it anymore. You can dollar forty, dollar fifty, dollar sixty. It doesn't matter. But and it's and it's a lot stronger when it's the home team. Let's say the Steelers are at home minus eight and a half, and you can tease them down to two and a half. It's a lot stronger than the Steelers on the road, eight and a half. It's about three percent stronger. So unless you're betting, unless you're using your teasers to go through the threes and the sevens, don't waste your money. Don't don't take a four to an eleven or a nine to a 16, anything like that. You're absolutely wasting your money. Please don't do that. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. I'm gonna be on here every week teaching you how to do this stuff, all right? That's, but these are super basics, but I'll take you to deeper levels. That's on your, and, and, and NCAA teasers, there's about four that are worth money, and that's towards the end of the season in the SEC games when Alabama's playing LSU, and it's eight, and you can get them down to one. Besides that, an, N, an NCAA teaser, it's absolutely, you might as well put your money on, uh, just throw it into the hibachi, okay? Forget about it. I know you want to do it. Please refrain from doing that and stop giving these guys your money. So there's your teasers and your correlated parlays. Now we're going to use your futures, okay? Here's some, this is all uh, pretty strong stuff in futures. The future markets, when you see them go up at the beginning of the year, who's going to win the NFL, I mean, uh, NFC or whatever, there's about a 40 to 50% uh, factor. And it's, it's huge for the house. Those mark anybody that's betting an NFL to win the Super Bowl. I'll tell you one strategy: unless you think your team is going to seed one or two, you're much better off. Like if you don't think they're going to be the one of the two seed, they're just going to make the playoffs. You're better off waiting till the playoffs start. For instance, remember when the Ravens beat the 49ers three or four years ago at the beginning of the playoffs? Oh, they're saying, "Oh, look at this! The Ravens are 60 to one. They thought they were giving something away." If you use your brain and you use the multiplier of betting it game to game, the Ravens started off as plus $1.50. Then remember, they got to go to both the one and the two seat and then the Super Bowl. Then they went to New England, then they went to Denver where they were plus 480. Then they went to New England where they were plus 400. Then they went to the 49ers where they were plus 190. You're getting 300 to 1 if you just bet your money through. So there's no, but now at the beginning of the season, if you're going to bet your NFL to win the NFL, for instance, when um, Teddy Covers just came on and talked about the Rams at 10 to 1, that's not a bad play because I think the Rams can seed one or two. If, they, if you think they're going to be a one or a two seed, that's not bad because they get a bye and then they get the two home teams, the two home games where they're going to be the favorite. So if you work out your 10 to 1, it'll be there. But unless you don't, if you think they're just going to make the playoffs, well, just wait till the playoffs and bet your ticket through. You're losing tremendous value in that, in that market. That's why there's such a big. Oh, you, okay. All right. I mean, I can go on and on. I've been living here 55 years, and I've seen about every mistake. Good stuff. Good stuff, Frank. We're gonna save some of these others for one of the other videos coming up in the future. Frank and company at Vegas Synergy are killing it right now, going 73% last week, now 31% profit in the last 30 days. Frank and Chris released a bunch of 2% rated plays that only come with their all-access pass. You get $100 off. Uh, their one month all access pass using coupon code Vegas 100 and as always guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends on Facebook and check out our other videos on YouTube